G'day guys, and welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a video called Who Are Passport Bros? And it's on a channel called Woke Wars. So go and check them out uh, if you're interested in more similar content from them. Without further ado, we'll jump in guys. Let's have a bit of a laugh. If a guy picks me up in certain cars for a date, I'm just not going. But wait, are you trying to date the car or him? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can't tell me if someone pulls up in this. Hold on, put it on the screen. Hold on. This Prius, you're uh-uh, no. So this is this, this sort of behavior. It's more younger girls that do that. I've never had a, a, a woman in their thirties or whatever to do anything like that. You get these young girls who watch too much TikTok, or they're really attractive young women who have guys you know, bowing down at them. But as we know, guys, it doesn't last forever. They can't pull this stuff off forever. But I know this is a bit of an extreme case that tries and sets the narrative uh, for this whole thing that every single chick cares what car you rock up in. I had a VN, guys, right? Not one girl ever really commented that my car was not good or anything like that. I know it's a good car, but it wasn't, at the time, it wasn't a new modern car. So I don't know. That hasn't been my experience, gents. I'm not trying to debunk anything here. I'm just saying these kind of girls, yeah, they're out there. But they're, they're like, you know, the 10 out of 10 little princesses that the dad buys them everything. And they have all the guys throwing money at them just trying to get involved with them. No, I'd rather not go on a date. And after watching this clip, I can understand why so many American men are leaving their country to find a good wife elsewhere. Oh. At this point, your chances of finding a traditional woman in the United States are close to zero. This is how I went down the rabbit hole that is Passport Bros. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically it's a movement of Western men going to places like Brazil, Thailand, or Eastern Europe to find a woman they can marry without worrying about her loving their wallet more than them. Come on, guys, come on. Like, I know the... There are guys that are all about it, and every woman overseas is good, and, and all the chicks here. Every every woman, to an extent, is going to care what's in your wallet. Like That's just the reality of life, guys. You think you're going to go there, and you're going to get some little angel who's not going to do any of the things that women do over in the Western world. They're all the same. Like they're all, they're all, they all have the same instincts, guys. Like I'm not saying they're bad. It's just the way that they operate. So whether it's in Thailand or um, Philippines or wherever all these guys go, Brazil... Uh, you think they're really at, at heart much different uh, from the women at home at a high level? I, I don't think they are. Yes, a lot of them are a lot more house trained, like right? so they're better. Like their their mothers and grandmothers and that teach them how to um, you know cook and clean and do nice meals and be nurturing and all that sort of stuff. I can agree with that, right? Because when I was out dating guys, as I said, I, as you guys will know, I, I, I've never really dated Australian girls. I put them in the back of the VN guys, but I've never seriously dated one or took one seriously or took them home or anything to meet the family and all that sort of stuff. I've never done it because I never saw any value in them because I didn't find them to be womanly. Yeah, sure, they're female. Some of them are hot, <laughs> um, but not womanly, not not, not nurturing at all. Um, I just I just never had that uh, experience with an Aussie woman. And so I always um, make a point to be involved with women that are not from Western countries, right? But... Yes, I, I, I think overarching, the women are a lot bit more nurturing, a bit more feminine. But in terms of not wanting your money, I don't know, I can't say I agree with that because I've heard some horror stories. And that sounds like a really smart thing if you ask me. But I wouldn't be making this video if it was all that simple. Because Western women are now unhappy and are doing anything they can to shame those men for the most ridiculous reasons. When you pay attention to the passport rolls, like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, mm. like women can that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education, and not, women that, that need missing, them, women, women that, that need women them. Women are raised to be wives. Mm -hmm. They learn everything in, in from, their, from yeah. birth, from That's their father, <laughs> from their mother, how to be a wife and how to support your men. Women that need them. It's not even women That's that need them. It's women that treat them with respect. So we don't... Y'all know y'all don't. Stop. <laughs> no, like, stop stop. Know no, that's don't. not true. <laughs> it's shocking that these women think that women outside the United States are uneducated and these men are somehow looking for someone to oppress and exploit. While the you, think, you think these women say that um, these these other women are uneducated? Yeah, I don't, I've seen that sort of stuff being thrown around. It's like uh, some of these chicks don't even, can't even name three states or three countries outside of America or even know anything basic um, about the world apart from um, outside of their little bubble that they're in. So I always found it to be a very snide sort of shaming tactic 
remark that women will use if a guy either goes to the younger woman, so you guys know what it's like, you get a younger woman or go with the younger girl or whatever, and all the other um, dried up chicks, all right, dried up um, single mums or whatever, they hate it, you're going to be shamed, you're going to be spoken about like you're a, um, a rock spider, all right? Um, <laughs> it's just the way they are, guys. They, they, they're nasty. Truth is that many women in the West are not good wives. Men don't look for masculine traits. Men don't want to come home after a long day at work to a woman that is a pain in the ass to be around. A man will happily support you and work hard to make not only his life better, but also yours. Someone convinced women that being a good wife and raising children is somehow a form of oppression, while working some boring job for a boss that can replace you the second you aren't needed is empowering. Okay, so I'm gonna. I've heard this argument thrown around a bit. Guys, we're in 2024. Um, saying, oh, you'd rather have your woman stay at home. Well, if you're going to have a woman staying at home and have a kept a kept wife, you better be earning some mega bucks in 2024 because without me going down the rabbit hole, guys, um, the societal structure has been changed on purpose over years by getting women into the workplace. Everything costs twice as much. You need two um, incomes to really support a family these days and, and somewhat get ahead, Right. Unless you're earning mega bucks, and I'm sure there are some guys out there who are happy to have a woman stay at home, but even then, then you open yourself up to more risk, you know. So, you know, you guys know what I say about women who stay at home while the husband's out working heaps all the time. They are out a lot of the time once they get bored or whatever. They're out seeing other dudes. Not all of them, but it happens a lot, and that's the thing. But yeah, before I go down the rabbit hole and talking about you know, the destruction of society and all that sort of stuff, which I believe has been a something that's happened um, very much on purpose, all this womanism and, uh, you know, or workplace equality and all that sort of stuff. It's to generate more tax revenue at the end of the day, guys, so more, more tax slaves. So they've made a system where you really can't have, unless, as I said, you're earning really good money, a woman staying at home. Ladies, you were lied to. It's great that you are a strong and independent woman, but that's not something men are looking for when searching for a wife. Let's say he just started his own business, but he makes 45000 a year. Would you date him? He wouldn't be but able to afford my engagement rate. If you oh. make $45,000 a year, it would take what? you four years? No. Eight years. <laughs> But how much? I don't know anything about rings. How much? Oh, look at this thing. It's a bucket of smash crab, boys. Bucket of smash crabs, you know, two out of ten. Absolutely at best. And she's probably got makeup and everything on. And she is dead setty. I don't think she's taken the piss. <laughs> There's a, yeah, some absolute delusional women who are, are just go on social media way too much. How much is that? About two hundred thousand dollars. Girl, you want a two hundred thousand dollar? Are you insane? <laughs> my ring has to sparkle from across the street. Like you have yeah. to see that shit. It's gonna blind people. But like, I'm not a regular girl. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> she really thinks that she's not just a regular girl. Ask any man to rate her on a scale from one to ten based on looks and personality, two. Two. and her score will be between two and three. Oh, <laughs> this chick's ruthless. I like her. She's cut of the same cloth. I like it. Not higher than that. It's great to be confident, but this is not confidence. This is delusion. She really thinks that any man would buy her a two hundred thousand dollar engagement ring. Girl, you are not worth that. Period. And Hang on, I've, I've told this story before, guys. About um, is this dude I used to know years ago, um, like a uh, really good guy, quite sort of he had Asian background, Chinese, so he came from money, and he had um. A girlfriend at the time, which he proposed to, and he bought a ring. It was about thirty thousand Australian dollars. Anyway, she didn't like it. And instead of going back and exchanging it, he just bought her another one and said that she could keep both. So he's probably spent I don't know sixty, seventy grand on engagement rings. You know, so there's guys out there that do dumb shit like that because they buy into the programming that women put out there that a good man has money and a good man or if you're going to be committed a good man will buy me this and buy me that and guys go oh yeah well i'm a good man i'm going to go and buy all these things for you and as we know guys it's not appreciated at the end of the day and even if you find a man stupid enough to pay 200 grand for a stone glued to a piece of metal that man could have invested that money into anything and get a better return on investment dropping that amount of money on jewelry is insane in this case she has no chance of finding a man like that a man with that much money to waste on a ring can marry a model. So why would he go for the most basic-looking Tanisha with the personality of a bag of Doritos? 
I will never date American women ever again. I've traveled to South America. I've been to Colombia. Now I'm in Brazil. First of all, I think we can agree that this is an above average looking man. Maybe not a 10 out of 10, maybe not even an 8, but above 6 for sure. That's pretty good when men like him have to leave the country because all the women they can find are going for the top 0.001% who have yachts and millions of dollars in their bank. You know that the average and below average men are struggling. I've noticed that the women here are a lot more traditional than the United States. Let me tell you, I've lived in Miami for over two years and it's very flashy there. A lot of the women believe in this independent, I don't need no man mentality. And I know a lot of other places in the United States have that same reputation where women want to behave like men and men want to behave like women. There's just this dissonance that gets created whenever genders become polarized. If you travel to countries like Brazil and Colombia, women over here are going to behave like real women. Well, it's natural for them to... Yeah, anyway, guys, look, about halfway through. So, guys, if you haven't started enjoying the uh, content today, please subscribe to the channel and um, aiming for 7K subs. So, yeah, your help will be much appreciated. And if you want to support the channel, guys, just watch the video straight to the end. That's what really helps me out, gets me out there. YouTube values the watch time um, and engagement. So comment, like, all that sort of shit. All right, let's go. You behave like real women when that's all they know, right? Compare that to the bisexual, blue-haired, baby-killer feminists, and you know why men are packing their bags and leaving to quote-unquote third-world countries. The people who are trying to shame the passport bros are going to lose, and here's why. They need a moral high ground to shame you from, right? So they frame it as in, like, we are actually protecting these poor, uneducated women. Meanwhile, we all know they don't give a flying about any of these girls. They would never donate to any of the causes that help these countries. They don't even know the problems they face. They wanna say we're exploiting them when there's more exploitation going on to make the iPhones they're messaging from than us taking a girl on a nice date in another country. What's great is women are actually starting to clap back from these countries, which is amazing because basically their argument infantizes them and calls them all too poor or uneducated to make decisions themselves as grown women. Everything he said. Look, so uh, guys, you can disagree with me here, but oh, I happen to see both both arguments, right? Both. So I'll be balanced. I'm going to say that what they're doing is some noble thing. Look, they are going to developing countries where they're a lot more valuable in the eyes of people who don't have much opportunity and money, right? And that's how they're getting these women. Because think about it. If he was just some normal guy there, a fisherman dude on a boat there or whatever, making sweet F.A., yeah, I don't think he's going to have uh, the opportunity to pick, to get the attractive women um, that he would be getting with his Western dollars over there. It's just the reality of it. So while I want to say it's noble, he's looking for women to, to take out and look after it. I'm sure a lot of men have noble intentions. There are a lot of guys out there that are exploiting them, and that's the reality of them. And a lot of women that then exploit these men. They don't talk about that. They talk about it like it's some fairy tale, you know, fantasy island thing, guys. But I'll put up some more videos of, as you guys know, I like to say it how it is of how guys can get scammed and all that stuff over there because I I, I understand what this passport bros thing is. Um, I can see why guys do it, but I think a lot of them go over there because they're sold this dream that everything's perfect. All the women over there are perfect. Nothing's ever going to happen. They're nothing like Western women. Guys, they're all the same. As I keep saying, they're all the same. This different country. That's it. They might put up with more bullshit from you or they might put up um, or, or, or be better behaved because they need you around to give them a lifestyle. So... I can see that argument. I can't just completely shut that down. That would be, that wouldn't really be very genuine, would it? It's true. It makes perfect sense. To me, it seems like the women that are complaining are actually jealous that actual men of high value would rather date a family-oriented Filipino woman than a high body count American woman. A lot of these women talking shit on the passport bros have never left the country. It's obvious because the Philippines is one of the countries with the highest levels of English-speaking people that I've ever been to. I met a Filipina here and she's going to explain more about it. Okay, so this doesn't go to every American woman out there. This is just for those who keep on talking shit about us, okay? And it seems to me that a lot of American women are insecure about how we treat men better than you guys. And it's actually because we are raised to be good wives and finding a good man. I'm trying to work out, if she got piercings on her face? I can't work that out. And is actually a prize for us. And if you're insecure about this, if you're threatened in some kind of way, I suggest you work on yourselves instead of 
talking shit about other people who doesn't even care about you guys, who doesn't even know you exist. And y'all kinda seem hard to please and naggy and insecure and I think that is why men He's like, yeah, you yeah, he tell him. It's a shame that this woman... No, but no, I, I can see why people criticize it, right? Because I'm not criticizing it. I'm just saying, look, I'm being balanced here, guys. We hear people saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reality is, you get a lot of guys who don't know how women operate. They don't know how the world operates. And they go over there like it's fantasy land. Just walk. Like, there's guys born like this every second. They'll just walk over there and get used and abused up. Like, go on some of these channels um, where they talk about stories about guys who get um, taken advantage of in foreign countries. Like, there are thousands of them, right? And goes like, well, no, that's just a freak occurrence. Sure. I know there are good women everywhere, right? There are. We know we a lot of guys, they don't like women and, and all that, and they watch a lot of this content. That's not, that's not what this channel is about. But the reality is there aren't many good women around that are, that are going to be loyal long-term. That's just, that's just the truth of the matter, right? But I think going over like a, a blind baby to a country like this, thinking it's going to work out well, I think there's a lot of risk involved, not even thinking about the risks. You know, you guys will say, oh, you're being negative. But guys, it's true. This shit happens. Needs to explain herself. Because the woke mob is trying to call her, and other women like her, uneducated and easily manipulated. I think it's kind of racist to think that people outside the U.S. are uneducated, and Western men are only taking advantage of that. Looks what nice, other though. options do men have at this point? They are told that they are not needed anymore. Blamed for all the problems we face so naturally, they will start to look for love elsewhere. How much money do you think a guy should make per year? I mean, if I'm like dating them, it'd be nice if they were at least making a hundred thousand. Like a million, two million, five hundred <laughs> grand. A lot were expensive. Yeah, mills. Oh come on though, but these are cherry picked. But these these women, they're um, they're the dumbest of the dumb. You get the dumbest dumb of the dits to 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 get your point across, right, to show how bad they all are. Come on, like, as if all women do this. I've never had women say this stuff to me. So I'm going to debunk it as some stupid young Americans playing it up to the to the camera, right? Yeah, women want dates and all that, but want a million bucks, you know, to date them, or a $100,000 guy to date them and all this sort of thing. Never had it said to me, ever. Maybe it's more like that in America. Over in Australia, I've never had a woman say, yeah, I had women, they, they want to know you got a good job and career, right? But actually saying dollars, um, putting an actual figure next to it. Never heard of it. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Obviously, it's happened in this video, but I think this is sort of like, you know, when statisticians are trying to prove a point, they pull out, cherry pick stats out. What do Western women want at this point? They expect men to make millions of dollars a year. Many of them think that it's completely normal to own a yacht. Yeah, Come I don't on. remember what podcast Come that on. was, but one of the women said that she thinks that 12% of men own a yacht. Not sure if she meant worldwide or in the U.S., but that pretty much shows how delusional they are. Just so you don't have to Google, there is about 100,000 yachts in the U.S. Many of them are not privately owned. That means that even if they were privately owned, only 0.062% of the male population in the U.S. has a yacht biggest egg when a guy is putting their blinker on i just feel like that's such a feminine thing to do so i get pulled over last week right and you know the officer comes to my window license and registration boom i give it to him so he's like oh do you know why i'm stopping you today and i said no officer i have no idea why why would you be stopping me i don't think i've done anything wrong and he said you failed to indicate when you were turning and that could be a hazard so i'm stopping you and i'm going to give you a citation and i said but officer I can't use my blinkers because if I use my blinkers, the hoes going to think I'm gay. And the officer <laughs> said, you know what? You right. And you just let me go. <laughs> What's up, everybody? All right, guys. So that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. And subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers.